and I'm finally doing an updated house tour. We have done so much to improve our house, DIY projects, just adding decorations. I cannot wait to show you. It's changed so much. Two of my kids are sleeping right now. One is awake, so I'm gonna do my best to whip through this as fast as possible. All right, let's get started. All right, so a little bit about this house. My husband and I designed this house in 2016 and then over 2017, while I was actually pregnant, we built it. We were our own general contractors. We have experience because both of our parents were contractors growing up, so we kind of know what we're doing and we just absolutely love the way it turned out. It's 2,600 square feet. There are four bedrooms and four bathrooms. Yeah, four bedrooms, four bathrooms. What we were looking for when we designed it was a house with a lot of open flow, lots of windows. You know, we spend a lot of time inside. It's so cold here where we live. So lots of windows, lots of natural light. And I really think we hit the nail on the head. Now I'm just trying to decorate it to make it feel cozy and really personalize it to make it ours. All right, so here we are in the front entrance way. It uh, hasn't changed a lot, but I would like to add a little bit more artwork or maybe like a nice table. But this is kind of more of our formal front entry. We have a back entry where we keep all of our shoes and coats and mess. This house was designed specifically to keep messes hidden. All right, so this room has come so far. We originally intended for it to be an office, but we put our TV in here and then we just started watching TV. So it's become more of a family room den and we actually don't have a desk in here at all. Eventually we'd like to get a piano so our kids can play piano, my husband plays and he can teach them and maybe it'll be like a music slash TV room. One thing I'm really proud of in this room is our giant, built-in bookcase TV stand. I had this quoted out from a contractor and it was going to be like six or seven thousand dollars. So we decided, nope, we're gonna do it ourselves. So the bottom cabinets are actually from Ikea. The countertop is just two, two by 12s, I believe, that we laminated together. And then my father-in-law built the uppers uh, using plywood. I think it was birch plywood. And then we just painted it all white. So saved ourselves a lot of money, a little bit of effort, and you know, my father-in-law did a ton of the work, which was awesome. And I saw these curtains at Ikea. I kind of really want them, but I don't know if my husband will get on board, but I think they'll match really well with what we have in here and bring the place together. living room it is huge it's 17 feet by 17 feet and at this point our furniture is basically furniture for people with small kids I really want to get new furniture this is stuff we bought used off of a Craigslist type of site and it was just because we didn't want to spend a lot of money when we have three very small children who still have accidents and still like to color on things so this is my next room I want to tackle in terms of furniture, but until then, you know, it's really comfy. It works for us. The other part of this room that I absolutely love is the two-story fireplace. In the original plan, it was back against the wall. We moved it into more of the center of the house to divide up the living room and dining room a little bit so it wasn't one big hallway. And also then you can use the fireplace from the living room and the dining room because it is a two-way fireplace, so we love it. It's super cozy in winter and we use it pretty much every single day. I do have one very favorite piece of furniture in my house and it's this stand. Um, my parents found it in the first apartment that they bought in like 1970 and it's actually an original condition Victrola stand from the 1800s. I just love this piece of furniture. I will never get rid of it. Okay, 
All right, I have my helper now. Are we gonna do the tour together? Yeah. This is our dining room and kitchen. I love the open concept idea. I love being able to see the rest of my house from my kitchen because I spend so much time in there. So in the dining room, we have um, a big table that we actually made just before we moved into this house. My husband and I built that. And then the chairs are just really simple, really slick. They're from Ikea. And you can see here, you can see how we have the fireplace here right in the dining room. And this is actually something we built ourselves. So my husband built this mantle and I did all the tiling all around the fireplace. Well, we kind of did it together, but I mostly did it. <laughs> This kitchen is probably my favorite part of this whole house. I love the colors that we chose. It's nice and bright and warm. And as much as it was super on trend to do, you know, white on white on white, I just felt like it needed some warmth in this house because it is so big and so open. So I really love what we've done in here. The cabinets are all from Ikea and we designed the kitchen to fit this space. And then my husband and I actually built it when we had like a four week old baby. And I really liked the way that it turned out. I So our command station, remember when I said we built this house to hide messes? That is exactly what this is for. And you can see it's not the prettiest. There's lots of papers and stuff. But at our old house, I was piling that stuff on the kitchen counters. And I said, in our new house, I want a place where I can put that stuff. Because you're always going to have stuff. You're always going to be bringing stuff in from outside. You're going to have mail. So I said, I want to make a special designated spot for all of our stuff. The best part is, is it's out of the kitchen, out of sight, it's got a place. So this is our walk-in pantry and I honestly had huge Pinterest dreams for making it look fancy and having matching containers, but in the end I realized that just wasn't practical for me. And so I just kind of keep all the stuff extra that I need to keep in here. The nice thing we did do was put in drawers. So anything that's really out of place, I just throw in the drawers. And I have lots of nice storage here for my vacuum and all my cleaning stuff. Eventually, I would like to build a sliding barn door to cover this so we can really just close it off and uh, keep it out of sight. This is our back entry slash mudroom, and this is another place I am so proud um, of the improvements we've made. So this is our giant built-in mud cubby storage coats and boots and hats and everything. It gets really muddy here in the summer and it's super snowy in the winter, so it's really important we have a place to keep all of our millions of coats and shoes and footwear. And so this is another um, unit that my father-in-law built for us. So welcome to Kidlandia or Kid Zone. I knew I was gonna have little kids. I knew they were gonna make a mess. So enter our beautiful basement that for right now is honestly just a place for the kids to come make a mess and I don't have to worry about cleaning it up. This is how I keep toys off my main floor and I can have a limited number of toys in their bedrooms is most of it's just down here. And we do clean it up you know, pretty regularly, but it just goes completely crazy and that's okay. We don't have to look at it. The only time I'm really particular about keeping it clean is when we have guests because our guest bedroom is right over there and I don't want them to have to, you know, walk over all the toys. So, but for the most part, this is their place to make a mess 
and no one ever has to see it. All right, so this is our gym, and it could be another bedroom because there's a window, so it's to code, so technically the house has five bedrooms, but it still has a concrete floor and then just rubber horse stall mats on top of it, and so I just do some workouts down here. I usually put my little laptop here and work off a video, or my husband comes down here and, and does stuff, and we would like to get a little bit more equipment, but for now, I just use dumbbells and my yoga mat, and that's good enough for me. Places in this room where you can see DIY stuff. We wanted to have a custom ceiling and we've made our bed. In this room I decided to go with more of a white 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 with wood accents. I just find that the white linens and walls keeps everything looking really peaceful and calm and I didn't want a lot of bright colors in my bedroom. I just wanted it to be mostly white not a lot of bright colors. I just like the way it looks really simple and cozy and easy to fall asleep in. So much every time someone comes over I'm like you have to come see my laundry room and usually I know people throw them in the basement and it's with the utilities and that's fine you got to do what you can do but for this house I was like I spend so much time doing laundry I want to make it a nice space so the only thing I want to change about this room is I really want to get some better lighting you can't really tell right now but it's pretty dark in here there's no windows so I do want to get some better lighting and I've considered maybe putting some wallpaper up but again, you know, it looks pretty good right now, so I'm not gonna take the time to fuss with it, but it is something I'd like to do a little bit more with, but I'm pretty pleased with how it's looking right now. I have two little girls, one is four and one is two years old. I'm not even gonna pretend for a second that I can keep this room clean all the time. We do our best, they clean it up in the evenings, sometimes when we're not all totally beat. So I chose purple after my second daughter was born and now they would like to paint it pink. So we're thinking about maybe painting it pink but what I'd actually rather do is put in some pink accents and maybe some teal things, pink and teal and purple might look good. So probably just try to pare down the number of books they have and again, just always decluttering the toys. But I really So this is our baby boys room. I didn't do anything with this room for a long time. We weren't sure if we were gonna have another baby and we didn't know what this room would be. We really wanted our girls to share a room. 
so they could be together and learn about sharing. <laughs> So I didn't know if this would be a guest room or a playroom, but eventually we did get pregnant and so it became our baby boy's room. I do wanna do a few more things to this room. Like I'd like to paint a mural, but one project at a time, maybe that'll be in the next few months. And I'll paint something like mountains or maybe some trees or something that he can kind of grow with instead of doing a real uh, baby thing that I'll have to paint over eventually. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for this tour of my house. I'm so proud of how far we've come, especially doing so much of it ourselves. There is a lot of stuff left I still wanna do, but you know, little by little, it will get done. I was really busy last year making a baby, so there was a bit of a hiatus, but we're still moving forward with projects little by little. If you have ideas for things that will help me spruce up this house or stuff that you cannot live without in your house, please let me know in the comments below. I love your ideas and I don't mind positive, constructive criticism at all. So let me know what you think might help my house look a little bit better. I'm still working on the decor and I love ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you very soon. Bye.